third day after the the new moon in the spring the spring festival mm -hmm. it is the day the goddess of nourishment was born oh wow so she like you know the the golden bowl i have i bought it in the chinese store oh yeah so she's considered like how they called it gold energies in the belly like chi oh right so she will grab because in india the abundance is about what you perceive as your wealth like it could be my child it could yeah. be my family so money didn't exist in old age right okay. wealth is about having um stable mood so mm. you're so happy wow so the bowl you can fill it with what gives you the soul fulfilling feeling right because when we die what are we going to take with us right it's right. our um the the secret wishes we held in our heart mm -hmm. so that is today oh wow so there is a story that goes so the ancient being he the ultimate father let's say like and actually in greek mythology also it exists i'll tell you both stories in india the ultimate source is called shiva mm -hmm. s-h-i-v-a right when you take out the i and you make it a shava means dead boy shiva uh -huh. means life right, right so what expires is death right exhale inspire mm -hmm. is the life so what inspires you to live is life wow so the life support source uh there like how they say there is a, a woman behind every man's success yeah so the girl is the ultimate force behind this action so he gives life but she gives sustenance right to expand the life so they were having a challenge so he told her oh it's all illusion food and stuff like you know nothing uh you don't need food to live it's all a, a, like a pretense mm -hmm. i mean he's kind of technically correct you know you, you need even in spite of food we get depressed sad. so it's not exactly put he said it in another way mm -hmm. so she gets told in the miffed she says that's not true so she says i'm going to prove it to you so she stopped uh, feeding everybody souls so everybody goes into starvation Mm -hmm. and everybody goes and blames him you know he says yeah. hey you stop feeding us mm -hmm. you know everybody is wailing right so he gets mortified like you know he <laughs> he wants to correct that situation so uh, but meantime she takes off she says i don't want to live with you anymore so she's gone but then when she sees her baby's crying she couldn't bear it. so she takes the form of nourishment today mm -hmm. which is third day after the spring that's why spring festival see when winter everything dies out spring everything comes back yeah. so specifically this is the day that she comes back and she goes and establish in the space where heart is and so she starts feeding the souls and so he and everybody who comes to her has to bring a bowl so she will put food in yeah so he <laughs> brings his own begging bowl <laughs> <laughs> Is that what that was about? Yeah. Oh, so wow. he also gets uh, his begging bowl because his his wish is to have oh, her back. So he begs the bowl. Oh, that was nice. And it, so the source itself begs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Life itself is begging. So I was thinking that was so cute. This is said in Indian way. Okay. Her name is Annapurni. She means she's the completion of food. because the food what we our soul wants is very different from what the body wants mm -hmm. so what is it that you still hunger for right so that's what she fulfills today and you can fill it with anything so he, uh, in in uh, greek mythology i came across because i see i work with speech consciousness mm -hmm. and i it's like all the truths are given to me and i can see this puzzle this puzzle and like you know i can like make my own uh, quilts <laughs> wow so i weave it so i was coming across the story of dimitri dimitri is the second wife of zeus 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 is like a very flirty guy it looks like he's a god but he like is a woman to be like really really mm -hmm. uh what is it called beautiful so dimitri is not really living with her with him in the heavens but she is the goddess of harvest 
so she's on the earth. So um, her daughter is very, very pretty, Dimitri's daughter. Between Zeus and Dimitri, they give birth. Yeah. So the daughter is captured by the guy in hell. Like, you know, what is his name? He, uh, like, uh, the guy who... Uh, the devil? The underworld, un the god of underworlds. Like the, the guy who is opposite of Zeus. I wonder whether, like, anyway, so he captures her and brings her back to the hell uh, because he wants to marry her. So he, like, you know, brings her. So Dimitri learns that this god, this god has her daughter. So she wants to retrieve her soul. So she goes and demands Zeus that he tells this guy to release. Zeus has no patience for Dimitri because he's not like really yeah. into her. So he, he just blows her off. <laughs> so, so this is a very nice story. So then she gets so pissed off. So she stops making harvest. She stops producing food. So everybody goes into starvation. Same story, right? Yeah. So then everybody goes flying to Zeus. Says, why your wife stop producing? And uh, he says, why are you doing that? And she says, until you hand over my daughter with no hair harmed in our body, I'm not going to give you back. Not only you're going to bring her back, but you're going to bring her back like with unharmed, unharmed, and like you know, old, even without PTSD. Right. Like, you know, even that has to be healed. So the hell guy is very smart. So he goes, he picks a pomegranate, he takes one of the pomegranate and inserts her into her molar, very very deep, and he says, "I'm going to give you back. Nobody's going to see anything." But the pomegranate juice, which is like blood, right? It yeah. almost looks like blood. The gist of the juice that went into your body will always be our secret that we will connect. It's almost like he made her an addict. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so when Zeus captures, like you know, he, he sees no arm done, and but the, the secret, the essence of what she learned from him will never leave her. So, Mitch, technically she's not harmed, but it's very fascinating how the, both stories are sold differently. Yeah. So the other girl, like, you know, she has a begging bowl, she gets it back. This girl, like, you know, comes back unharmed, but she has changed in a very, very deep level. Nobody can perceive. So that's, a, that's a fascinating story. story. Yeah. Yeah, I love it.